Hello guys, it's Troy69501 and welcome to my channel. Well, on this video I'm gonna give you my thought for Superman, Lewis and Clark. Now check out the cover. Just a nice cover. I'm gonna give it a close up. Check that out. Look at that. Just awesome. Look at that. Just a great cover. Okay, to the story. <clears throat> this is issue number three. Well, there's a new character showing up. Actually, it happened several, several years ago. This guy here. His, his name is Blanky. Or Blank. So, for some reason, he has his uh, tele, uh, telekinetic bad guy. Kind of like, but not, not like Xavier. But he can move stuff with his mind. I have to say that I love the art. I still like the art, the colors, everything. Look at this page. Look at that. Just great. This is the guy named Blackie. Or Blanky. Maybe because he's too white. I guess, I don't know. Anyway, so they know each other. So Superman apprehended him already and put him on his on his fortress of, of solitude. The thing is that the Superman fortress is not the one as we know. Actually, he have it on the ground. And not only that. Now this is a nice page here. Look at that. This is just a great page. So. Inside of his Fortress of Solitude, he also has Hank Henshaw. Now, this part of the story is the continuation where Lois and his son got attacked by Intergun. You see, there are kind of like three stories in one. We have Intergun, Intergang in one corner, we have Blanky on the other corner, and we have Hank Henshaw on the other corner. <clears throat> so it's like we having three bad guys on the same story, which somehow, eventually, is gonna, is gonna interconnect between all of them. I don't know. I'm assuming that. So here they are talking that they that they got lucky with Intergang because Lois, she goes by the name Writer's X. Letter X. The thing is that she writes novels, and she's writing novels about intergang from her world. Now, this Superman here is from the 90s. So, they end up in the New 52 universe. So, she's writing all her memories about intergang from the 90s, even though on the New 52, as far as I don't remember, that they have mentioned Intergang yet. <clears throat> Although the Intergang that they are talking about in this story is from the New 52. The thing is that they have not appeared or mentioned them on the current Superman books. But by Lewis Lane writing a novel about them, well, kind of like wake up the intergang. Okay. So basically, you know, their kid doesn't know, still his son doesn't know that his father is Superman at all. So here we see when Superman goes to his fortress of solitude. He's right in the middle of a mountain. As you can see here. Look at that. It's just great. Look at that. And look on the inside. <laughs> look at that. Even has some kind of like, like, so sorry about the glare. Some, uh, there are, we can see here stuff that we've seen, at least in my memory, from the 90s. And some stuff from, uh, from a Krypton. This is the family car. <laughs> I guess he's having it fixed. 
So, this guy here, as we can see there, does Hank Henshaw. Now, okay, I thought that this Hank Henshaw was from the 90s comic book, but it's not. This is the new 52 Hank Henshaw. I mean, he say himself, this is a D, although he's the same guy, but it's different. You see, on the, on the 90s, <clears throat> well, he become eradicator. I mean, cyborg. Cyborg or eradicator? No, cyborg. So he become half man, half computer. But here, although he went through the same accident, more or less, well, does it have the same powers? Because we know that the that the new 52 version cyborg on the new 52 is actually Supergirl's father. So cyborg in that sense has been established. So this new so this hand hand shot, well it's not the cyborg as we remember. What kind of powers that he has? Well it seems like he has come with some kind of like mind powers. I'm intrigued by it, by that. So we see that there, the Hifani wake up, and he's fighting uh, like like always. And here we see when he go to the cell. You see, he has kind of like I don't know if the one that is talking on those bubbles is Blanky or it is Hank Henshaw. So I'm not sure. I believe is Blanky, the white guy. So here we see the Superman's Fortress Prison. We have a bunch of bad guys here. Now, this one here reminds me of someone. That woman with the long hair, forgot her name. But it reminds me of someone. And then we have, uh, where is it? Let me see, sorry about the glare. This guy here, I think it's called Wendigo, I think it is. It's kind of like Bigfoot. I uh, remember him in some of, the, some of the comics. So, this guy here, this is Blanky. <clears throat> He's the main antagonist of the whole story. So, here we see members, one of the bosses of the internet. So from there we jump to outer space, as we can see here. But who this guy is, I don't know. So this is, I don't know if that guy is, it is connected to Hank Henshaw or is connected to Blanky. So the story was good, but it brings a lot of, it brings me, in my opinion, more questions. So it's more questions than answers. But I have to say that, that I hope that, I believe this is a eight, eight miniseries or something. I just hope that they will answer all the questions that I have. But overall, I'll be honest with you, I really had fun reading this book. I just, I like the colorings. The art, the story, it reminds me the classic Superman. Now, the classic Superman for me is the one from the 90s. I know that some of you or all of you hate it. But in my case, I enjoy the comic books from the 90s. Eh, what can I say? Sue me. <laughs> so, it reminds me of the Superman of the 90s. And I will give this story actually this comic book 4.5 out of 5 well guys this is it i hope that you like this video till later bye